RFB Legal. The Litigation Series. Hello, my name is David Burns. I'm a partner in the property litigation department at Ronald Fletcher Baker Solicitors. A common issue often arises in relation to leaseholders who want to carry out some sort of refurbishment works or alterations to their flat. Questions come up such as whether the consent of the landlord is required for those works, whether the landlord can simply refuse to provide consent and whether other leaseholders in the building can object and prevent a tenant from carrying out works. A lot of those issues were recently considered in a Supreme Court case of Duval v 11-13 Randolph Crescent Limited. In this video I just wanted to give three quick bullet points for people depending on whether you are a tenant, uh, a neighbour of a tenant who intends to carry out some works or a landlord. So first of all if you're a tenant who's intending to carry out some works, even if you consider those works are relatively minor in nature, I would recommend that you still carefully check the terms of your lease and decide whether or not you actually require a license to carry them out. If you do require a license, then please make sure that before you commence any works, those licenses are all in place. If you are a neighbor of a tenant who intends to carry out works and you're concerned about the impact those works might have on your property, then again, make sure you carefully check the terms of your lease and communicate with your landlord to check what the landlord intends to do and whether your concerns can be allayed. If you are still worried that, that any of the works are going to have an adverse impact on your property, then there may be a possibility for you to prevent those works and it will depend on the nature of the works being planned and the terms of the lease between you and your landlord and the terms of the lease between your landlord and the tenant who intends to carry out the works. If you're a landlord who has been approached by a tenant who intends to carry out some alterations to their flat or refurbishment of some sort, then before you actually grant a license to that tenant, just make sure that you consider the question of whether or not by granting that license, you could be placing yourself in breach of the terms of a lease with some of the other tenants in that building. And that, that was one of the issues that arose in the Duval case. Thanks. Goodbye.